Welcome to Active Campaign's Connection Guide for setting up your Salesforce and Active Campaign integration. My name is Alana and I will be walking you through the process today. This two-way connection is vital for reducing churn, as you can use informed, helpful data to guide your customers' journeys. You can uplevel your customer experience strategy by seamlessly syncing data between both platforms and by leveraging automations to trigger targeted follow-up emails, nurture sequences, and custom lead scoring, you can be confident that no prospect will slip through the cracks. Let's dive into how easy it is to set up your connection. Before you can configure the active campaign and Salesforce connection, you will first need to set up your custom domain and download the active campaign Salesforce app in your Salesforce account. If you need any assistance with these steps, we have step-by-step -step instructions in the Active Campaign Help Center. So in order to find this page, you will click on these dots in the upper left corner of your account, type in Active Campaign, click on the app, and that directs you to the setup page. On this system connections page, you would go in and add your API account, URL, and key which can be found in your active campaign account settings under developer and click authorize. If this is the first time getting set up, this will say authorize. For me, I've already connected, so this will say reauthorize. You can click that at any time too to ensure that your connection is reestablished. Once you have authorized your API credentials, you can click next. And at this stage, you are just confirming the connection. And then you can click finish. Now you can move on to dynamic field mapping. And you'll do that by clicking the blue continue button at the top of your screen. So here is where you would map leads, custom fields for leads, contacts, custom fields for contacts, accounts, and opportunities. The mapping is split up between core fields and custom fields. One thing to note is your standard lead fields are mapping to contacts in Active Campaign. Once a lead converts to a contact in Salesforce, the tags will be updated and the records will remain in sync. In this table, you will go through and choose your mapping first for your lead standard fields. You have Active Campaign contact fields on the left and Salesforce leads on the right. In the following columns, you will specify your sync direction requirements. The default mapping, as well as the most common use case, is to allow Active Campaign and Salesforce to update these fields, but you could choose to disallow either tool to update. By clicking Next, you will move on to mapping custom fields. Here, you have the opportunity to choose which contact field in Active Campaign should be mapped to which custom lead field from Salesforce. Again, you can configure the appropriate sync settings for whatever works for your business. The following step is contact field mapping, which will be pre-mapped for you. You will notice that the email must be updated to keep the data records in sync. If you are utilizing account field mapping, the first thing you'll do is toggle it on. Then you can map any of the necessary account fields from Active Campaign and Salesforce. And lastly, opportunities. Similar to accounts, you can toggle this on. Opportunities is a one-way sync from Salesforce to Active Campaign and consists of a set of standard fields. After finishing the mapping, you will press continue to configure the outbound sync settings. You will find guidance on the right hand side of your screen. Depending on how you want to use Active Campaign in Salesforce, this will determine which settings you choose. You will assign a sync setting for both leads and contacts. And lastly, the job schedule. So the quickest way you can sync is every hour. This can be changed here if your needs require. Once you have scheduled that job, you can click finish. The final step is the option for setting up an automation component, which you can add to your Salesforce account. 
The automation component allows you to send a campaign created in active campaign to a lead or a contact or enter a lead or a contact into an automation you created in active campaign. You will have established the connection after completing each step of the system's setup page. This will be reflected in active campaign under settings and integrations. Remember that you can manage this integration directly from your Salesforce account. By connecting active campaign and Salesforce, you will combine the power of customer experience automation with data from Salesforce to create a more personalized customer experience that turns leads into repeat customers. Happy connecting. Subscribe to our channel below for more content like this. And to try ActiveCampaign free for 14 days, visit ActiveCampaign.com.